Hi, this is Mr. Petito, and today we're going to show you how to submit an assignment via Google Classroom. So I already have Google Classroom installed on my iPad, and you can see I just got a notification that a new assignment has been given to me. Let's take a look. I'll open up the Classroom app, and I can see that in my assignment section at the top, I now have a new assignment called the verb comer. I can see this assignment also posted to me in my to do section here of the app as well. I'll select the assignment and I can see that it has some instructions for me. I can also view my work and see that my teacher has given me a copy of this document already. This document lives in my Google Drive already and under this classroom file. Before turning in this assignment I need to complete it so I'll select the document and I have two ways of completing the document. Either I can open this up in Google Docs and complete it there by typing inside the cells, or I can use my stylus and annotate over the document and complete it that way. Note you can only open up documents and type in the documents if the original document is either a Word file or a Google Doc. Uh, if the teacher shared with you a PDF, you can still annotate over it, but you won't be able to directly insert text into the document. Let's see both ways. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the document in Google Docs. And so the way you do that is open in Google Docs button in the top right hand corner. And now I can edit this document just like I would if I had created it. So I can inside the box, I can type my conjugations and so forth. When I'm finished with my work, I can hit the checkbox in the top left hand corner to save my work. And then you see I still have a link to back to Classroom in the top left. All right, let's view my work again. Now that the document has refreshed, I see my work here. Let's complete the rest of the document by using the annotation feature. So I'm going to select the Edit Pencil in the top right-hand corner. And you'll see that my document now gets brought into an annotation view. And now I can use my stylus and use the tools at the bottom to complete the assignment. You see there is a text tool as well, so even if this is a Google Doc or a PDF, I can still do typing on it, I just can't do it within the actual Google document. So here I can do text, select the space, and type. Or I can use any of the pencil tools and annotate as well. So I'll complete the rest of the document by writing. Like so. And when I'm done, I'll hit the save at the top right, and you'll see that this now gets saved as a PDF in my document. I'll hit the X to exit here, and you see that that PDF automatically attaches itself to the assignment. So I have the original Google Doc. I also have a PDF version of it. Note that the Google Doc was the only one where we had inserted those two items, and the PDF has all of them. Okay. If I need to add any private comments to my teachers, I can do so at the bottom here. So for example, for this assignment, I could say, please view the PDF for my completed work. I can hit send. The teacher will get notified that there's a private comment on this. And you can send private comments before submitting as well, in case you have a question on it before you hit submit. And you can wait on the teacher response before you submit your work. Uh, I'm done for now, but if I needed to, I could also add additional attachments here. Um, maybe those files weren't working for me and I needed to write it out on paper and then take a picture of it. Right? I could use my camera here in order to take a picture of my work and that would be added as an attachment to this file as well. But I'm ready, so I'll hit turn in. I'll hit turn in. So now that you've submitted your document, you'll no longer be able to edit that document. So here, for example, if I select the document here, you see that the edit pencil is gone and all I can do is view this document. The permission settings have moved to the teacher and only the teacher now can edit the document. If you made a mistake and you want to resubmit, I can hit unsubmit. On the teacher's side, it'll still look as though you hadn't submitted it yet. But at least now I can go back into my Google document and be able to edit it again. See, the Edit Pencil is now available in the top there. Okay, and I'm ready to turn it in, so I'll hit Turn In, and now I'm just waiting on the teacher to view the assignment, grade the assignment, and give me feedback. I now see that my teacher has graded my assignment, and if I were to refresh my page here, I'll see at the bottom that I scored full points on this assignment. I also see that I put up my PDF, that I have a new comment here waiting for me on remembering that accent on Comace. 
And that's it. Pretty easy. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.